Alright, um, so I'm going to tell you why uh, the death penalty should be kept and uh, that should stay uh, in use. Uh, the death penalty, or actually in California right now, there is a bunch of prison overcrowding and there's about like 200% of the capacity in the prisons that they're allowed to hold or that they can hold. And um, there's a lot of uh, prison overcrowding and uh, this is like putting, like they're having to release a bunch of uh, prisoners to the streets. And um, according to outsidethebeltway.com, uh, justices upheld an order from the three-judge panel in California that called for the releasing of 38 to 46,000 prisoners. So that's uh, 38,000 prisoners that are being put back onto the street uh, because they're running out of room and stuff like that. And if we had a death penalty, then it would help uh, sort of keep down on the uh, uh, number of people and uh, it wouldn't allow for as many into the streets. So, um, uh, it also, uh, like, uh, puts the guards and stuff at damage. Uh, according to uh, time, uh, there's uh, over 200% of capacity in the prisons, and um, when you have 200 men right on top of each other in like, I showed some pictures where they're in like their basketball court at the prison. Like people are living in there. So when you have that many people just like right next to each other, there's gonna be tension, people are gonna get hurt, and then the guards have to step in, and the prisoners aren't just gonna back down to the guards. They're gonna like fight with them too. So it puts uh, their, uh, like the guards life in danger also. Um, the death penalty, uh, I'm going to show you why the death penalty is actually uh, constitutional and it's not cruel and unusual punishment. Um, according to the Death Penalty Information Center, uh, it shows like the order that they do uh, uh, like the injections for a lethal injection to kill the person. And it says that uh, first is the har harmless saline solution that starts immediately, then next uh, there's an anesthetic and then, um, which puts them to sleep and it relaxes and uh, stops like the nerves and still doesn't stop them, but it makes it so that uh, you can't have any like pain, it like paralyzes them. So there's no like real, like, it's not cruel and unusual punishment because uh, it's, they're uh, not feeling anything. So then next, um, the death penalty actually brings like justice to the families because um, I don't know how you guys would feel, but if someone were to kill like one of my friends or something, that I'm not gonna want to let that guy just go and sit in prison. And who knows, he might have a better life than he already had because who knows what his life was out on the streets. But half of these prisoners uh, probably have a better life in prison with a bed to sleep on three meals a day and so on, and they actually uh, have a better life than what they were. So I know that I wouldn't want somebody to, you know, have a better life because they killed someone. But um, uh, according to Balanced Politics, the org, the most fundamental principle of justice is that the punishment should, the punishment should fit the crime. When someone plans and brutally murders another person, doesn't it make sense that the punishment for the perpetrator also be death? So when someone plans like kill someone and uh, murder someone, then they should have to face the same, like an eye for an eye or a leg for a leg and so on like that. And that's it.